If I could have your attention, ladies and gentlemen, please. <coughs> Before I begin, I must just read the customary announcements. Bidders are reminded that... John's art is immensely valuable. There is a list of people waiting to buy anything with his name on it. Since early in his career, his art has sold for prices that have broken record after record. In 1988, Diver sold for $4.1 million at auction, setting a new record for the work of a living artist. $3 million, $3 million That record stood until November of 1988, when Christie's auctioned White Flag, a painting that originally sold for $2,000. $4,200,000. Four million five hundred thousand, four million eight hundred thousand, four million eight hundred thousand, five million dollars, five million two hundred thousand, five million five hundred thousand, five million eight hundred thousand. It is this side at five million eight hundred thousand dollars against you left, at five six million dollars on the telephone, six six million. What's that? Two, one. All right, six million one ahead of your bidder. I'll take 6-2. No, 6 million one is against you. In the room, and against the gallery too. 6 million one hundred, 6 million two hundred thousand on the telephone. Three, 6 million three hundred thousand dollars in the room. 6 million three hundred thousand dollars. Four, 6 million four hundred thousand on the telephone. No, one more, sir. Really not. 6 million four hundred thousand dollars on the telephone. And against your bid, and against the room, at $6,400,000, the telephone bidder against you all in her, here, fair warning, at $6,400,000. Telephone bidder, six million four. The 10% auction commission brought the price of the painting to a little over $7 million. That record only lasted one day. The following day, this painting, False Start, sold for $17 million at another auction at Sotheby's. I don't think I, f I fully understand it, the process. When it, when it begins, you're pleased that you can make something and sell it. It allows you to devote yourself to the work that you want to do. As it, as it expands and, and the value of the work increases, at a certain point you see that the society takes over in, in the determination of the value of the work and the meaning of the work. Scarcity is also something that's very important. There are not many just the Johnsons around. So competition always uh, among collectors uh, plays an important role. Art has taken the place of precious metals in the economy. Uh, and it, um, it has ne never done that to, to the degree uh, that it has today. And so you have this extremely distorted point of view. People are re really, they are not talking about art, they are talking about money. So that to think that they're talking about art is, the, I think, the first um, misconception. $900,000, so for $900,000, you're going to $900,000. If you look at it, it just looks like a bunch of marks all over the place. But Jasper Johns actually did this very carefully with a lot of planning. If you see something and you, it intrigues you in any way, even to the point of horrible irritation, go back and look at it again. <laughs> Don't worry about being educated. I think that most of the time gets in the way, from my point of view. I personally think uh, that his work can be fully appreciated without knowing what the hell it's about at all, because it's incredibly good painting. I'm really impressed. I, I like these a lot. Because it makes you like imagine stuff, you could see stuff within paintings. I mean, I didn't want to know too much about the ideas because I didn't think I would be that interested in them. But, uh, but I loved the paintings and they were, there was something about them. Well, I think they're really interesting because he takes all different things and puts them together into one big picture. I think he paints as well as he ever painted. He has that beautiful touch. But while he has not forgotten how to paint, in some way, he seems to me to have forgotten what to paint. 
I like the way he uses the color and sort of flashes it together. Well, I like the Four Seasons the best because he shows like his lifetime and how he goes, gets older and how he um, dies. I mean, I think Jasper's a fairly conventional person and, and uh, uh, sort of a, a conventional artist in the, in the, you know, in the best sense of the word. I mean, it's sort of, you know, that's what, you know, I mean, art is about conventions, I guess, in a way, and then uh, trying to make, uh, expand the conventions so that they're expressive. And that's what he does the best. To the degree that 